If you own a farm, you should probably get yourself a porta potty. One of the best things ever. While you're out here working, you gotta go. I get it. I get it, you know. Us men have an advantage. We can go pee in the woods. You women have to go find Mabel. For those of you that don't know, Mabel is the tree that the ladies use when they gotta go pee. Um, okay, that's enough. Welcome back. Simon Says Farms. It is Saturday. Small business Saturday. We don't do a lot of advertising. We're actually really bad at it. For those of you that might think we're good at it, we're actually not. But we're okay because we do get some people to show up. Yesterday, Friday, Black Friday, was like a family reunion here on the farm. So early in the morning, we opened up like 10 a.m. By 10.15, we had a store full of people, villagers, people that watch us on our YouTube channel. They all came down and they were talking to Liz and talking to Stella and they got to see me in such a great mood. I was so happy and like smiley and ev actually I wasn't. I was all pissed off. Uh, our computer crashed. Everything went down. The internet wasn't working. The credit card machine wasn't working. The printer wasn't working for receipts. The cash register was dead. Like, it was a mess. And uh, we figured that out about 10 minutes before we opened. Hold right there. There we go. Trying to open the hay. Ugh. So I lost my scissors. They were in here somewhere. My scissors and my hoof trimmers for opening hay. <clears throat> and they're not here anymore. So now I have to pull the strings off the side, which makes a big hay mess. It goes like this. See, hay mess. Just opened that one and it poofed open. But they gave them a whole bale of hay last night. Which in this barn, unlike the other barn, where we do sometimes throw whole bales of hay into the feeders, this barn... Hey, how are you doing? Hey, yes, I'm getting you hay. You too. Right, Thor? Yeah? You're actually pretty good. You know, so somebody asked me the other day. They said, if you were a goat on the Simon Says Farms, which goat would you be? Answer it in the comments below. They gave me Thor. Thor's my goat. He's my spirit animal. Yep. So, back to the story. Everything was down. It was all down. I was so happy to be around. Just kidding. I wasn't that bad. I mean, I made, I made, it, I made it through it. And our customers didn't care because they're like, we're here to chit-chat anyway. So, we don't need you to hurry up and make it so we can buy stuff. It was crazy. Tyler and Jace were good. Liz was good. Everybody did real good because we had to go to the backup plan, which that failed. And then the backup plan to that is pretty much what got us through it. Good old cellular data, cell phone, run everything through that. It was uh, not easy making change and all the credit cards had to be done manually. They wouldn't swipe, but we got it done. The customers were great. The first hour or two was pretty good, and then it got real slow. We sat around for hours with no customers, which is bad. Why sit out here? Me, Liz, Tyler, Tyler, Jace, Grams was even out here for a while. Uh, Quinn and Olivia, Jake showed up a little bit. But, you know, these kids want to make money, and it's cold. I'm going in here. Hang on. Oh, it's still so pretty. Yes, you see it. There's like one left. There might be two left for those that show up today. Saturday. This is Saturday. Small business Saturday, officially. There's no... There's just no good program. I've even talked a little bit to the Small Business Administration. Like, yeah, they don't help much. Sorry. If you work there, they don't really help much. Um, they actually have a contest going on. I almost sent you guys the link. But this is where I'm going to rant a little bit. Vent. So I said it before. We don't talk politics. We don't talk religion. And we don't talk sports. Because those things divide people. 
We talk about food and fun and farming, and that's what we talk about here, because that kind of stuff brings people together, right? Stole that one from Fluffy. Um, yeah, so Small Business Administration sent me a link saying, hey, you should fill some of this out. Maybe you guys can win an award, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's take a look. <clears throat> Category number one, veteran-owned business. Love the veterans, support them. I'm not one. Can't apply for that one. <clears throat> Sorry, this is a one-take wonder, if you haven't noticed. <clears throat> no edits. Brain is way better than yesterday. Somebody called it out. You had fog brain because you couldn't talk and you were getting everything wrong and it was super early in the morning. It's not early now. It's 7.56 a.m. I already made an ad. That ad went out. <clears throat> it, it's a coffee creamer thing. So, uh... Second category, woman-owned business. Yes, Liz, Liz owns the business with me. It's a partnership, 50-50. It says the woman has to be a majority stakeholder. That means I'd have to sell her 1%. She'd have to be 51 and I'd have to be 49. Now, we all know she is the boss here. However, that's not happening. We're keeping it at 50-50. That's stupid. Why would I have to, it? Sh so we kill you. We don't, we don't qualify for that one there was a my minority um white male middle-aged white male not a minority can't do that one then there was a uh small enterprise or something you had to have between like five and 50 employees yep nope not us and then so in other words out of the seven categories they had i don't remember all of them we qualify for zero thanks sba that's good. Way to support the small family business. Oh, the other one. This was great. Family owned and operated business. Ooh, this one sounds good. Yeah, it has to be passed down from one generation to another. Why? Why can't it be a family that just started? Yeah, thanks, guys. That was good. You guys should watch this video. Maybe I'll send you the link. Um, so I guess we're just going to do it on our own. No, re no award needed. That's our award right there. When people travel and sign our wall, I don't need articles written about us. I mean, they're great. They look good on the wall. I needed. That's way better. So there's my rant for my Saturday small business morning. When was the last time, other than that silly white and blue ad, have you seen a shop small on the weekend? Shop small business Saturday. Yeah, nothing. Um, Where are we at? Where are we at? We're cold. Yes. Was that the store? The computers are good. So we fixed it. Javier, Angie's husband, came out. He's my like network guy. He helps me out with some of this stuff. And we found out that it all came down to the printer and the laptop. <clears throat> the printer and the laptop were not on the same network. We have multiple networks here to keep us safe. Certain reasons we do that. And, well, this reason, it kept us safe. It kept us crazy, but that's what happened. So today, the plan, because it's a beautiful day, yesterday it was raining, cold, hopefully that kept customers away. And today, with the beautiful sun that's coming up, and it's going to be super nice, we're going to get that fire going for real. The kids tried yesterday, but they literally like lit it and walked away. But unfortunately, we can't bring... Winnie out because the fire will be going and when there's customers in the store Winnie likes to jump on the door and the last thing I want her to do is get hurt and put a hoof through that window so unfortunately Winnie's not coming out here but we're gonna try to set the fire up get that going we're gonna hang out in this store pretty much all day 10 to 5 that's when we're open right now now we are thinking 10 to 5 was probably a bad idea because again we set I'm getting a phone call. Why am I getting a phone call? Well, sorry, can't talk to you, I'm busy. Um, yeah, 10 to five. We, we don't know if we're gonna run it that long, all season. Right now it's 10 to five. If we make a change, it'll go out on Facebook, on YouTube, in Google, it'll all get changed because we're realizing now we have, again, we're not stupid, but we're, we're stupid sometimes. We put the business first. We're like, oh, we got to make money. We got to sell stuff. It's the holidays. And then we're like, wait a second. We have zero weekends off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If we're in the store 10 to 5 all three days and somewhere in that mess, Aaron's getting his hip fixed and he's not going to be able to walk. 
And yeah, we have zero weekends to go Christmas shopping. The kids want to go. Olivia picked out. So we did this thing. So if you have kids, don't have four. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. If you have kids, think about it. When they get older, they get expensive. And now you come into a point, which this happened a couple of years ago, where we were like, wait a second. Jake wants to buy a gift for Olivia, and he wants to buy one for Quinn, and he wants to buy one for Tyler. And Tyler wants to buy one for Olivia, Quinn, and Jake. And, J and, and Quinn wants to buy one for Jake. So if you do the math, if all the kids buy all the kids each other a present, it's like three times four, right? Yeah, it's 12 presents that we have to pay for because they don't have money. At least it was back then. Now Tyler has some money if he wants to buy Jake a present or Quinn or Olivia, but he's gotta be careful because if he only buys one kid a present, not the other two, he creates this like little, oh, you like him more than me. And it turns into a big mess. So what we did about three, four years ago, we put all our names, the six of us, we keep it close because if we put Grams in, it, w it could throw the whole thing off, so we just keep it the six of us. Same thing with Jace. We don't add Jace either. That's a different story. So we put the six of us in a hat. Everybody pulls a name, and that's the person you buy for. Now, obviously, mom and dad buy for everybody. And we communicate with Santa Claus based on their list and stuff like that. But there's that one secret Santa. It's not secret. You know who you got. And we do that. And Olivia pulled mom i think no olivia had mom last year olivia has tyler yeah olivia has tyler so i have to help olivia pick out something for tyler and quinn has jake so i'm teamed up with olivia and quinn i will help them buy for tyler and jake and mom is teaming up with jake and tyler and they're gonna buy and i actually got mom <laughs> go figure it. i got mom 25 dollar limit like we try to keep it try to keep it cool so that is something the kids want to do they're like when are we going shopping for our gifts and we're like <laughs> not on the weekend but we'll see so we might the moral of the story is the store might close at three if we're super slow and there's not a single customer around we're gonna judge it and be like you know what sunday no reason to sit here sunday 10 to 5 that's a long time let's do like noon to three or something crazy and just go into Google now and change it. Just change Sundays to real short. We're actually thinking, don't quote me on this, next year we're thinking of cramming it all into one weekend. That's it. The store here, open for goat snuggles, you know, April, May, June, all that stuff. But the holiday shopping experience here at the store, cold with the fireplace and whatever, three days only. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Black Friday, three days only. And we'll probably do something like real crazy, like open at 7 a.m. Do like a seven to seven, three days in a row. Done. That's it. Three days, seven to seven, boom. And we can blast out some serious, put some ads behind it. Come meet the goats. Sunrise, sunset, three days in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Game over. Close it down. And now we have a couple weeks before the holiday. That might happen next year. Don't get confused. That is not this year. We sometimes blurt out our ideas. They're good to blurt out. Put it in the comments below. What do you think? You know? Hanging out out here with the family on the weekends. It's kind of cool. But when there's four of you sitting here doing nothing, twiddling your thumbs, we might have to bring out a deck of cards or a game or something like that. So... That's all I got for today. It's Saturday, and I know some of you are coming down. I see it in the comments. We will be here. Hopefully, everything will work. We'll get the music going. We'll get the fire on. And we'll see you on Sunday. That's tomorrow, by the way. Okay, wait a second. For those of you that this might be the first video you've ever seen, and you're 14 minutes into this crazy guy with a hood talking about how he doesn't want four kids, I didn't say that. Don't take that out of context. That's mean. I just said, when they're little, they're cute. When they're big, they're expensive. That's all I said. Okay. Whew. Yeah, we post every day. If you made it this far, you might as well subscribe. And like I said, we'll see you again tomorrow.